But here it is, better late than never. This one's going to be pretty, and it's got some special diamonds in it. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so this is called Universal Soul. It is by Katrina Cultus. She looks like she's in ecstasy. Oh my goodness, the blues in this kit. And then the fiery oranges. Oh, I can't wait to see what these uh, diamonds are. Hi Divas, I have a sneak peek for you today. Well actually it's a first look. It was supposed to come out last week, uh, the beginning of May, but uh, it just arrived. As you know, Diamond Art Club is switching its distribution um, warehouse from New Jersey to Texas, so it came a little late, but here it is, better late than never. This one's going to be pretty and it's got some special diamonds in it. Let's see what's in it. Okay, so this is called Universal Soul. It is by Katrina Coltis, K-O-L-T-E-S. It is a square kit, and it is 20 inches by 25 inches, which makes it 50 by 64 centimeters. I like that size. I, I really do like those uh, sizes today. So, and you can see on every Diamond Art Club box, fancy packaging. Um, you have a how it works, how to diamond paint, you have what the kit contains. You have that it is high quality, high definition, and protected. There is a choking hazard on here, noticed, and it's got the um, distribution information in here, as long as along with the website. And you also see a scan me code for a thank you code to unlock 10% off. But if this is your very first Diamond Art Club purchase, check my description link down below for a discount code for 15% off your first one. Don't forget that when you do get your packages from Diamond Art Club, you will also get <clears throat> a packing slip in the big box. In On that package slip at the bottom of the information, there's a black stripe on there <clears throat> with white um, white lettering on there that gives you an additional discount that may be even better than the one on the box for your next purchase. I'm going to show you this is a little sticker that comes with it. Okay, this little sticker you can use it on the end of the box, you can use it in your on your inventory sheets, you can make it into a resin. Um, I've seen people make them into resin cover minders or magnets for your fridge. All kinds of ways to use this as a really cool sticker. All right, they come with a kit, a toolkit with everything that you need to create the kit and then some. Inside these special kits, let's see the goodies today. You get a white boat with uh, the stopper on the end. I really do like the stopper. Don't let the fact that it's a little tight in the beginning um, set you off on them. It does is a little tight in the beginning, but it does, uh, as you use it, the more you use it, it does loosen up a bit. You get your pen, a random color pen, with the squishy that matches the color here. And let's see if I can get this on without, yep, yeah, without too much of a problem. These come with a brass tip. Uh, you get two extra tips. You get a four placer and a seven placer for multi tips. I really do wish you would get a plain white um, plastic tip to replace that because there's usually special diamonds in the kit. Okay, it comes with a heart of two hearts of wax. Don't forget to peel the plastic off the top and bottom of one of the hearts to put in the bottom of the little 
plastic container. It has a lid because sometimes these uh, waxes dry out and you don't want that to happen. It'll crack and it, it won't work right if it is, but keep the lid on and you'll be perfectly fine. Also, Diamond Art Club in its square kits also adds a sharp tweezers in it. Some of us do, uh, with the square kits, do place one at a time and do use the tweezers. I like using them. And uh, they always come in handy to, if you misplace the diamond or you have to like shuffle it back into place correctly, that's always a good thing. You get a bag of lots of baggies and you get two bonus items. Ooh, this one's the pretty one. You get a cover minder, which is, oops, I took it off here. You get a magnet for the back and this has a magnet on the top. You peel the plastic cover back and sandwich it in between the cover minder magnets. That way it'll stay out of your way as you are diamond painting. And I want to show you your second bonus item here. I'll get in here. Okay, you get a roll of washi tape. This one's pretty. It's spring flowers related. I really like this. It's a random color, random tape, so you won't get the same tapes as everybody else. You may or may not. I mean, you know. It is a random colored washi tape. This one happens to be spring flowers. There's a number of ways to use washi tape as you are diamond painting, and I will show them to you as we go. All right, let's put this fun thing aside and get into the kit itself. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay. They seal the, the outside box in plastic and they seal the diamond painting itself in plastic. And that's great because sometimes before you get to your porch, <laughs> it may have uh, uh, may have rained or something, but this keeps the dampness and the moisture out of your diamond painting. I'm going to roll this up the opposite way. It is a double side. It is a poured glue adhesive, and that means you can roll it in opposite direction. And the reason you'd want to do this is because it makes it easier to lie flat. Okay. In your kit you also get a thank you brochure. It has a note from Angie, the founder. It has some special tips and tricks. It has some QR codes for special discounts and more thank you codes on it as well. All right. You also get a large sheet here. This is one big sticker. This is great to put in a notebook or um, to record what you're working on and when. And it has all the pertinent information. These are individual little stickers to help you kit up. And I want to show you one way that I kit up with the washi tape. Now this is the color. Um, for another kit, but on these containers, I put a piece of washi tape down first on top of the container and then put the sticker on top of that. So that way you're not like digging your fingernail to try to get the, um, the color code off of them, off of your container to reuse it. You just peel off the washi tape with the label and you're ready to reuse it. Okay, so that is our big sticker. Let's look at the kit, the actual canvas. It is a low lint, very soft canvas, nice and firm and sturdy. You also have a decal edge. It's, it's pinked and poked is what I like to call it. It has like a pinking shears cut on the edge and it's poked as if a sewing machine with no thread ran through it. Um, that keeps it from fraying, so you have a non-fray canvas. On the bottom of each canvas, you have a 
guarantee, a lifetime warranty in case of missing diamonds or if there's something wrong with your canvas, you uh, contact support and they'll take care of it right away. It gives you another discount code on the bottom here and it gives you their uh, information here, their social media information, their hashtags and all that good stuff because they want you to be proud of your masterpiece and put it up. And also if you do a review like that and you do post something up to, to social media, they want to know about it because they can give you points for that toward different kinds of discounts. Um, with the company for your next purchases. It also gives you at the bottom a thumbnail and all the information that pertains to the kit itself. So now we are going to check out this gorgeous canvas. I wanted to tell you that it does have 55 colors all together. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I know you're seeing this sideways, but it's one way that I can show you the entire kit at once. Okay? Oh, is she pretty. She looks like she's in ecstasy. Oh my goodness, the blues in this kit. And then the fiery oranges. Oh, I can't wait to see what these uh, diamonds are. Let's see, we have one, two, three, no, two. Aurora Borealis drills. They will be the ones with the the uh, special coating on them that gives it an extra shine. And then you have one very special drill. Out of the 55 colors, you have uh, one that starts with the letter Z at the bottom, and that will be a special kind of diamond. And I bet you they're going to go. I know exactly where they're going to go. Once I show you the drills, I will show you that. You can tell that the individual, um, can you see the, the individual symbols in this on here? They're very easy to read. You have white markings on a dark background and dark markings on a light background. Oh, there's a jellyfish in here. It looks like it's like out in space, but yet it's got a jellyfish here. Oh my goodness. I need to look up uh, Katrina Naltis and see what her, um, maybe what she says about her painting, because that might give you some insight into um, what the, uh, the subject matter of the art. Let's take a look at the drills, shall we? Diamond Art Club puts a label on the drill bags that gives you the kit number and the name of the kit on there so that you can match up. Um, I know a lot of people hang their, keep them out of the box. They hang their canvas and then they put their drills in a special place and in doing that they it separates them. But if you have those labels on there you can easily tell which goes to which kit. Now I'm going to check out, find the special drills in here, and save them for the end of the drill train here. Let me see. And then show you where they go on the canvas. Now I'm going to bring you in and show you the individual colors. blues and greens. It almost looks like ocean colors. And it's got these incredibly pretty. There's a the burgundy. There's a cornflower blue in there. Greens and a light blue. Like a dusty blue. Like a bachelor button blue. Let's see. Okay. Not many of these colors yet, but that's the mustard color and some browns and reds. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Woodcut salmon color, maybe? 
peach, a purple, maybe a lavender purple, some browns and greens, and an orange. So you do have quite a, a nice parade of colors here. There are some neutral, natural colors, but you also have um, you also have brights that go along with it, which I really like. Some gray, some rose, a taupe. Ooh, okay, beautiful blue. Look at that yellow, peachy yellow. Teal, some dark blue, dark purple. Looks like a forest green. There's some dark blue for you. Oops. There's a very, very light blue. Oh, I love this yellow. It's like a butter yellow. It's one of my favorite yellows. Pretty blues. Lots of different shades of blue in here. I like that. It, again, it kind of rind, reminds me of an undersea scene. Okay, we do have some 310s in here. Now Diamond Art Club likes to put their drills in like from the most amount to the least amount. They program their machines to dump them into this train and it seals it, it dumps them in, seals the, seals the package and prints the color number on almost simultaneously. Oh, I like that blue. It's really an interesting process, how they do that. I really like seeing it. It's a nice, uh, like a light salmon. Ooh, that blue is pretty. Lots of different blues and greens. I'm not really a blue person, but this is gorgeous. Ooh, look at that teal. Hmm, and a darker teal, green more blues that have more of a, maybe a yellowish shade in them, in the blue, maybe an aqua color, and a beautiful butter yellow again, a different butter yellow. All right, so those are our major colors. Now I wanna show you the specials and then where they go on the canvas. Patient till I wrap all this good stuff up again. I am repackaging my drills. What I like to do is put this sheet in the bottom of the, the plastic container and that way I always have the picture of the project right there with the drills. All right, I'm gonna move the package off to the side so I can show you the goodies. All right, let's do the Aurora Borealis first. You have two Aurora Borealis colors. You have a, a 101 blue, and you have a 141 white. Now, the one, they, they will be the numbers one and the numbers two on the canvas. So I'm gonna pull you all the way out here to show you where they go. Okay, now I got it lined up. So the number ones, where am I seeing the number ones? They will be in the blue, one of the blue shades. I see the two, the white, they're like little bubbles. Oh, these kind of look like, uh, like small jellyfish as well. So the number twos are sprinkled all over the canvas, mostly on this side. Okay, there's number twos in uh, like a shine spot here and down here in the shine spots down here. 
and down in here too. So you have them coming down here and you have them going up the side. Now, the blues, I'm still looking for that number one. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. There's some ones in here. There's some ones in the jellyfish. In this jellyfish here. Let me see. There's got to be more because there's a nice pack of them here. Oh, yep, over here and in here and down by her neck, running alongside her neck and in here. It, they're mostly coming down through, like winding their way down through here, which is interesting. I don't see any Aurora Borealis on her face, but let's see if the other one will have it. Now this is what is called, is this the Okay. Um, I believe these are called fairy dust diamonds. It is number Z369. It is a green, um, like a very, I don't know, it, it's, it's like a mint, like a mint green almost. Not quite, but it is. It's the letter J on here, and it looks like it's coming up from this ball, and it's coming up beside her face here. There's some, let's see, let me point it out specifically. It's this yellowish greeny thing here. It's beside her face here. It's not in her face. Uh, la, 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 la. And all on the fireball here. Hmm. Ooh. Now, what's different about the Aurora Borealis and the fairy dust? Okay, maybe you can see it in the white here. Um, the white and blue are the Aurora Borealis. I'm going to turn them over to this side so maybe you can see the color a little bit better here. What they are, they have that coating on it, and it's almost like a rainbow effect on them. Whatever light reflects off of them, you get this like rainbowy shine. The fairy dust diamonds are not quite the same. They are, they have like what's called like diamond dust on them, and instead of one coating that coats the entire drill, these are teeny tiny little pieces of shine, little teeny type. It's not glitter really, because it's opaque. It's like a, a whitish type. It is shiny. It does shine in a different way. It kind of glints off of them. Let me double check something here. Are they faceted or not? Okay, instead of one smooth coating on them, what it is is teeny tiny dots of it all over it. So it's not just one rainbow reflection. You get a lot of shine on these diamonds in a different coating, in a different type of way than the Aurora Borealis. It doesn't change the color of the drill at all. It just shines it up a bit. And I do want to, um, I do want to assure you that with Diamond Art Club's square diamonds, you don't have to be afraid of doing squares. They are beautiful. Uh, they they fit so nicely together. I want to give you an idea to use with the washi tape. What you can do is because the glue when it's exposed to air after a certain amount of time uh, it does start to shrink and that the way it 
the reason it starts to do that is so that it pulls the square diamonds together just a little bit till they're almost perfectly together. When you put the drills down, you might see a small gap in between them. Do not panic about that because the glue, as it's exposed to air, will shrink it up just a little bit. And one way to make sure that you're not exposing too much of it to air, I mean, it takes a while. It's not going to be like overnight, but um, put your washi tape down, okay? And take a ceramic type of blade and just slice it. Or take your scissors, a very uh, sharp, a lot smaller scissors than this, and cut along that edge. And you do this in like two places, and you just peel enough back. Use your cover minder, pinch it back, and this easily sections it off for you that way. Uh, then you don't, once you have the, the drills on, fully on that one's place, it will be fine for you. Um, so, and the longer it's exposed to air that way, the, you know, it'll start shrinking the glue to pull them together tighter. I like to do that. Uh, you, again, you don't have to be afraid of Diamond Art Club squares because <clears throat> they're made of resin, not acrylic, which is a different process altogether in extruding the diamonds and, and baking them so that they get perfect. Um, resin gets perfect generally almost all the time. You won't find too many in here that are uh, rejects. You really won't. You won't find all that flashing and stuff that you get with acrylic diamonds. And you, you won't get them misshapen for the most part. Another way to use your washi tape that you get with the kit is I like to use it along the edge. Now, some companies have more of an edge than others, meaning there's a tiny little bit of glue, in poured glue, that sticks out over the edge of the actual uh, drill area. That's just so that and make sure the glue gets on to the very edge. So it's like another row or two worth of glue beyond that. What you can do to keep hair and dust and pet dander and things off of it is use your washi tape right along the edge of your entire canvas. That way, your drills will line up perfectly right along that edge. You have a teeny little bit of a an edge there to bump them the, your first row of squares against it. it comes out perfectly that way and it keeps the dander and dust and stuff off of that extra glue piece and your hands not sticking to it all the time and it's easily removable when you're done you pull it off with diamond art club you do not have to seal your paintings this glue is awesome I have not ever had to seal a Diamond Art Club painting. They, you know, the glue, they use the right kind of glue, the right kind of canvas to help everything stick together. I want to show you this little, this little fireball at the end here. Um, bring out just a little bit more. This is interesting. I mean, you see the jellyfish coming out of it, swimming up out of it. So it is like an underwater. Um, but, uh, you know, I am not sure what she's doing underwater, except she seems to be having a good time because she has some ecstasy on her face. It just seems like she's just in bliss being underneath there. Maybe she's a mermaid. Who knows? But uh, she's in bliss. And it almost looks like it's a creation scene like the energy that's swirling around this ball things are gaining life out of it you have some dark at the bottom here almost like the abyss almost like uh some place that you you can't see but now this life is just sort of blooming and radiating out of this this is just gorgeous the blues the purples and the the aquas in here just oh my goodness I, I think I might add um, some ABs or some 
crystals. I, I might trade in one of the colors for one of those. I'm looking at a symbol, uh, 3756. That is around with the, the twos and with the 3865s, the whites. The, the number two, remember, is the white uh, Oro Borealis. So there's two here that might, they're also in the swirly here, dots. The 3865 is in the dots and in the jellyfish and in her face. Like the light is just shining right on her face and it's bubbling up around the edges. I think I would make those two uh, sparkly and swirly. There is some dark, uh, like a reddish orange coral color on the side here. I might use those in crystals. I might change that into crystals. That's a 351, the darker one over here. There's also 356 and a 367. If I wanted any of those in there to be, uh, and one more, a 632. I think I would, that's on the edge here, on this edge. You have the, the ABs and, and the fairy dust coming up this side, and then you'll have in the dark coming out of the dark, misty area over here, you do the crystals coming out of there. And then you'll have the shine into her face, as well as it's not just going to be a U shape around her face. It'll draw the attention to her face where the light is reflected off of the areas of her face. That will be gorgeous. I am going to write down those numbers and I'm going to get some special drills. If you want to know where to get some crystals um, and any additional type of uh, special drills of any kind, you might want to check my box, my description box below. Not only do you find the 15% off code for your very first Diamond Art Club, but you'll find a, to use in 2023, you'll find a 10% off of sparklers um, at a different company. So check it out. You never know. You never know what you might find. This is gorgeous. This is going to be a masterpiece. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I hope you check it out. And if you want to uh, be part of the Work Basket family, uh, the community, we meet together on Tuesday nights for Tea and Talk Tuesday. Bring your whip, bring your favorite beverage, and bring uh, your smile. We, um, we tell jokes, we uh, talk about our projects, whether it be diamond painting or uh, junk journaling or needlepoint, um, uh, crochet, embroidery, uh, all kinds, all kinds of things, planners. Um, lots of different types of things. We talk about ways we store things. So we go up on online and find out how diamond paintings are made and how um, how they're packaged and how they get to you. We have special guests coming in, other other creators on YouTube and some of the members that wish to be interviewed. You come up and share yourself um, with your fellow creators if you're an Etsy shop that you'd like to be featured on a Tuesday night Tea and Talk Tuesday Live email me your information at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and I'll get back to you and we can schedule something up Tuesday nights it's 10pm Eastern Standard Time 10pm Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday nights every Tuesday night I can't wait to see you there. Check out the other sneak peeks and um, other videos on this channel. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. All right, divas. Talk to you later. Bye.